So um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, creative IT and um, the solutions we provide. But you know, mainly um, I wanted to kind of rework the slide deck, and I only had a little bit of time yesterday to work on it. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't a planned thing. So I'm sorry if it's a little bit rough. But uh, anyway, I wanted to try and get some animations and stuff like that. Didn't have time for it. But anyway. Um, a little, a little bit about the character. Uh, when I was working at Stanford University, we had a group of like about 30 uh, IT guys. And uh, you know, one of them uh, was uh, impressed with my uh, love for Apple. And so he made this little caricature of me. <laughs> so back in the, uh, what was that called? South Park days? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty neat and I, I kept them. I thought I'd share it with you guys. But mainly the, the, the thing that, uh, you know, I really care about or what motivates me is not, uh, you know, making a lot of money or becoming rich or any of that. Although, you know, certainly I, I don't mind achieving that. But what I really care about is I care about going out into the community and helping people. Now, in the past, uh, working at, in, in IT for 20 years, um, I enjoy helping you know, individual companies that I worked for. And I was always a big contributor. I loved, you know, I, I always volunteered for projects and loved helping out in anything that I could. I always had a love for, for ed, uh, education, so I always was willing to learn new things. And so uh, here, you know, uh, coming here to, to, to um, Beaverton and, uh, you know, basically uh, bring, um, creating a, a, a company um, I've never had such a sense of community until I started working for small companies around uh, around our, our own community here. And uh, it's been such a great thing that if, if I would have known this 20 years ago, I would have tried to have that focus back then because it's I feel like I'm not just contributing to one company being successful, but I'm contributing to a, a community. So, um, Basically, uh, you know, the, the, uh, what drives me as a passion is being able to help people, being able to, uh, you know, be there for, for uh, uh, other businesses, and then being able to, to um, help them with their infrastructure and, uh, you know, guide them along, remove any of the uh, blockages that are taking place or any of the things that are, that are uh, stopping them from being able to accomplish what they need to accomplish. Um, and some of that is slow computers, bad networks, um, uh, or, or just, you know, maybe their lack of or organization in terms of, you know, how their infrastructure work, uh, has come together. A lot of times I go to places and I see that, you know, they've kind of set something up here, set something up there, and it kind of becomes a hodgepodge of things. So I try to go ahead and uh, organize that so that everything kind of has a better flow and can communicate with each other better. So, um, you know, basically, uh, part of my past is uh, that I, you know, I had done computer repair for about five years. Not a lot of IT people out there do repair. They're usually, you know, they're usually out of college and then they go work for an organization. In my case, uh, you know, I, I did repair for five years. Uh, I've worked on uh, PCs and then I had, uh, for about two years, and then I had uh, the opportunity to work for uh, a company that was Mac only. And so I did that for uh, about uh, another three years. And uh, that was that was a lot of fun uh, to be able to do. And, uh, you know, of course, in that, I had to get certified. Um, I also uh, provided desktop support. So when I transitioned from, uh, from doing repair work, you know, the first step was, you know, going into companies and providing desktop support, which you know, I enjoyed doing because it was an opportunity to go around one area and help a lot of uh, people with their problems. Um, system administration, you know, that basically is working with um, servers and services and making sure that they're functioning properly, that they're up and running and doing what they're supposed to be doing and troubleshooting issues that come along. Uh, network, um, network architect, basically what that means is being able to look at an area and be uh, uh, and plan for how things are going to connect, what things are going to be in that area, how they're going to connect, and you know how data is going to flow, not only internally but also uh, externally as well. 
Uh, sometimes uh, uh, some larger organizations that I've worked with have also remote locations. So it's also looking at how uh, we would communicate across the, the what we call the WAN, the wide area network. Um, and I've done, uh, I've worked as an IT manager where I've had the opportunity to go ahead and uh, you know make decisions, uh, create policies, um, work with other managers within within the company, and try to build uh, collaboration. Uh, and that was probably one of my biggest keys to, to success as an IT manager is is building being able to build that collaboration. Uh, now I'm working as an IT consultant, and as an IT consultant, uh, what I find is that uh, being able to help uh, an individual or a company is still uh, very much a collaborative effort because it means that you know I'll, I will go ahead and explain what I think uh, you know help will help to improve uh, their their organization, but it's up to them as to how much of that they want to do. And that, of course, affects the result. So uh, the other thing is I enjoy working with people, which is hard to believe because um, you know usually as a, as a tech guy, you tend to be more focused on the machines than, than the people. But uh, I had an opportunity to work at Apple where I was just in a room by myself full of machines. Three months into it, I realized, you know what? I miss people. I miss the people contact. And so um, now I, I embrace it, whereas before I thought I was getting a break from it all. <laughs> so uh, what do I care about? I care about uh, you know, uh, being a careful listener, right? Not, not talking first, but just listening and being able to hear what, what their pain, pain points are or what their goals are or um, you know, what they want to achieve. Um, the other thing is to be a careful observer, right? Kind of like a detective. Um, part of that comes also from from computer repair, because in computer repair, people bring stuff to you. They tell you one thing, but you find a completely different thing. So, um, you know, part of that is being a very careful observer, looking at the environment and seeing what other issues might might be causing the problem that they're that they're stating, um, and then asking the right questions um, and helping to understand their goals um, and providing uh, options so that I can deliver the results. Um, and then the, the, the other thing is, you know, I really care about building something great. I care about, um, you know, simplifying, right? Simplicity is beautiful, it's elegant. Um, and building a solid foundation on which to, to continue to build on. Uh, making things scalable, reliable, and also economical. And uh, I, I love doing it. It's also enjoyable. Thank you. Man.